After emerging as a tropical wave on August 16th, Tropical Storm Laura formed on August 21st, becoming the earliest L-named storm on record in the Atlantic Basin. Laura first brushed the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico with heavy rain and wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. More than 200,000 people lost power, while 15,000 lost access to running water. Laura then brought disruptive impacts to much of Hispaniola. Up to a foot of rainfall combined with strong winds led to the destruction of several thousand homes and more than two dozen deaths. The storm then traveled the entire length of Cuba while also spreading tropical rain bands into southern Florida and the Florida Keys. After moving into the Gulf of Mexico, Laura strengthened into a hurricane and eventually became a major hurricane after a period of rapid intensification. Laura reached Category 4 strength with winds of 150 miles per hour before making landfall on August 27th at Cameron, Louisiana, near peak intensity. It was tied for the strongest landfalling hurricane in the state of Louisiana as measured by sustained winds. Coastal communities were devastated by Laura's wind and storm surge, leaving some of the landscape unrecognizable. Widespread destruction was still observed 30 miles inland in Lake Charles, where winds topped 130 miles per hour. Buildings were torn apart, streets impassable after being littered with debris and hundreds of thousands of area residents left without power. Laura quickly weakened to a tropical depression over Arkansas late on the 27th before becoming a remnant low early on August 29th. However, heavy rain continued to spread from the Tennessee Valley to the mid-Atlantic coast. Weather Nation was here for you throughout the storm. Six people who have lost their lives as a result of Hurricane Laura. With over 150 mile an hour winds, extremely violent, and the devastation left behind just heartbreaking. And will continue to be here for the rest of hurricane season. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Rob Bradley.